This is Yang Trader, and this is the Midday Edition. So we're going to take a look here at crude oil at natural gas, and then we're going to take a look here at the big oil ETF, XLE. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy selling stock on ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your one minute and your five minute chart. Now, you can see what a beautiful trade this was here. Okay, it rallied right on up here nicely, uh, and then it came right on down. Now, let me just see if I can big this up a little bit here for you. Okay, uh, right, let's see, okay. Now, see you came right on down here and you're right below that eight simple moving average, okay? And then what we did is you came down and you retested, you put a lower low in here, but then we started getting, uh, you know, getting some juice going here, but then I always wait because what you wanna do is you wanna make sure it breaks that neckline. See that neckline right there? So you had a W pattern, okay? Then it came down, but now you made that nice higher uh, high. That's very good, see how you have a low? higher low, higher low, and then we made this nice higher high going on here, and then she rallied up very, very nicely. Now, what we have to watch here on this uh, one minute chart here is we had this uh, pretty much like a top situation here. Is it gonna go above that 82.96, or is this gonna be sideways action and come right on down here? So this is kind of a situation where we're just a little bit uh, stuck here. Okay, uh, on the five minute chart, you can see here on a little bit bigger picture, but how nicely that when you see these red candles like this, and you see that series of lower highs and lower lows, you just let it play on out here until we get that green candle, and then we can just rally on up. Now, once you break this this uh, uh, the recent high, that uh, 82.51 here, then we had a candle here, we got as high as 82.62. That's also another way where you can add to your position, and then we gotta see how this is all gonna shake out right here. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here what we have here, if you watched my video this morning here, let's just look at the weekly here first, okay? So I pointed out this bottoming tail. Then we had a nice series here going on of uh, higher lows and higher highs. That's always very bullish. Now, last week we had the high of 82.72, and so far we have the high of 82.99, okay? So this pattern here is continuing. So as long as we hold all this key support here, your, your 21 day, your 50 SMA here, your 100 day, and now look how nice that eight day is curling right back up here. Uh, as long as we can hold that, this is very, very bullish and it looks like it wants to go higher. Now, when you look at this MACD here, see your green crossed above the red? This is what happens when that green crosses above the red, this is what happens, okay? When it goes below that red, this is what happens, okay? So always watch this here for a, a buy signal or a sell signal situation. RSI, plenty of room to run, you're only at 56, you can get way over 70 on this, but so far this is looking very, very nice. Okay, here we have your daily chart. Now you can see here where we're holding this 8 SMA, I'm always pointing out that 8, 8 SMA, how key that is, okay? So we had a nice uh, rally here off the bottom, we had some sideways action, and then we just had, again, but what the sideways action is, but when you get this sideways action, okay, this is very tradable, don't get me wrong, that's all I do is just go back and forth, back and forth, however, when that breaks out, that, that creates so much energy, and then when she breaks out, she just rips much higher. So let's just look at the downside here first. So what we want to do is uh, Friday's high was 82.72. We want to close above that. That's going to be very, very key. And then the next level here we got is going to be um, 82.04. And then we have here, you have 81.99. Uh, but this is here, this eight SMA, this is what we're looking for here on a closing basis. So again, as long as that can hold, we're in good shape. You lose that eight SMA, then we'll come to the bottom of that candle, 80.97. And then we'll have 80.51, and then we have uh, 80.18, and then really this, uh, realistically, this is what you're looking for, that 80.05. Your simple moving averages here, your 8-day, your 21-day, 50-day, 100-day, and 200, these are your key, key levels of support, and then your uh, uh, candlesticks are your support levels, your high, your low, and your closing. But look how nice this candle is here off that 8 simple moving average. Now, let's just take a look at where we can go with this. Okay, so you got 82.96. So I just say you always watch right to the left of your left of your chart here, okay? So what are we looking at next? Okay, so the next target is going to be uh, 83.30. Okay, so we just look to the top of that candle. 83.30 is next. And then right on top of that is going to be 83.91. And then we'll look to the top of this candle here, 84.46. You bring that price channel right across. These blue lines here, these are just price channels. It makes it very easy because all it is is just the highs and the lows of the candlesticks, okay? But when you look at it, it's very, very nice. And what I always liked about it is when we have a sell-off here, okay, you put in this, all, all this price channel goes down, 
but it leaves this here behind. So now these become resistant levels when this turns around. So obviously here, there's your left shoulder, there's your head, there's your right shoulder. Now she's ripping up higher. Now these come into play where these are your key resistant levels. Just bring them right across until we hit that uh, 87, 67. That is going to be your big target. But right now, this is looking very, very bullish here. UCO, been trading it today. Very, very nice on that UCO. I had a low at 33.73. I've already been long and you got a high at 34.55. This is looking very, very bullish. Now we've got to see where this is going to close, okay? So that's going to be very, very key. So I uh, obviously, after the pick close here at 2.30, I'll have uh, all the information again for you. But remember, just watch this 8 SMA on a closing basis. That's all very, very key. And then watch today's high. We get above that. Then we just follow these candles all the way till we get to your big boy here of 84.46. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, natural gas doing just the opposite of the Okudski. Okay, now I did a video over the weekend. Um, it has seasonality chart. So if you want to take a little peek ski at that, it's got the crude oil uh, seasonality, natural gas. Natural gas is playing out exactly how it's supposed to on seasonality, and the crude oil is playing out exactly how it is on the seasonality. There's also candlesticks on there, chart patterns. Any kind of thing is here. It's a shorter video. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes long. Just check it out there uh, if you're interested here. It gives you just a little bit more information. Now, here we look at natural gas. This is what I was always pointing out here. See where you have a high, lower high, lower high, and lower lows? That's never good, okay? And we lost this key eight simple moving average here on a closing basis. That's not good. So by the end of the week, that before be by Friday, it needs to hold this 2.50. That's very, very critical, okay? Now, below that here, we have this 2. Point, basically 4.8, and then the, the 200-day here is sitting at about 2.47, okay? So this needs to be hold on a closing basis. Now, you can see where I lost this, this price channel here already. See this price channel right here, okay? Sitting at 2.51. All that is is just the bottom of that candle, okay? So we already lost that here on a closing basis here. So, well, not a closing basis, but actually on the basis, we've got to see how it closes out here at the 2.30 mark. But look at here, this 8 SMA. See, when it crossed that 21 day, what do you have? Boom. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay. Now, that's always a, a bearish sign. Okay. Negative divergence going on here. Bearish sign. The green crosses the red. Bearish sign. Okay. Look at all the red flags that are going on. So now, this here, this is what we're looking for key support 2.50, 2.48, 2.47. This is what has to be whole on a closing basis. That's very, very uh, a key. If not, we just follow these candles here all the way down. Okay, so go 2.39, you got 2.32, and you can come down to 2.23, uh, uh, and you can willingly wait all the way down here to this 2.13 to 21 day, and your, two, and your 100 SMA here at 2.12. Now, if this can hold, then we just do the reverse of what we're doing, okay? So then we're looking for the upside is that 2.518. Uh, Okay, and then what we're doing is we're going to be looking, bring this right across here. you got 2.57. And then we'll have Friday's low, 2.59. And then we can just keep right on going here. you got 2.63, you know what I'm saying, all the way up until you get to this eight simple moving average. But a lot of times is when the price gets away from that eight day, the price wants to get towards that eight SMA here. Okay, see, just like this, see how it rallied up here? And then it wants to come right back to that eight simple moving average. Same way here, I was hanging on all the way. Got a little bit too high, and then want to come right back here. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. But realistically, upside, this is going to be key resistance 2.69 and your 2.79. Very, very key. On the downside, you got to watch that 50 day, this 50 day, and that 200 day. Crucial, crucial support. If that's lost, then it's going to be mad out the window time. We follow the candles all the way down till we get to one of these big levels here. Okay. This, plenty of room to go to the downside. Plenty of room to go to the downside, not looking good at all. Now, that being said, I scalped KOLD today, okay, and I got three points out of KOLD, which is the short on natural gas. So, for me, it doesn't make no difference. If this goes long, it goes short, money's still in the pocket either way, okay? Right now, I'm flat, and I'm seeing what's going to happen in this area here and at that 50-day. If we lose it, I'll just put that cold red back on again and take her down as far as we can. All right. Let's take a look here at XLE. 
Okay, I'm showing you a little bit different chart here. This is FinViz. You can go on FinViz yourself anytime you want, and you can get the, the, all the charts there for free for you, okay? But I wanted to show you this here. This is the XLE. Now, this is the big oil ETF. There's Exxon, Mobil, Chevron, uh, Schlumberger, you name it, it is in here. Plus, this pays about a 3.2% dividend. Now, this is one of my favorite trades for big oil. So instead of taking one or two, because everybody's got this big heart on for big oil, even though you, you can't live without it, okay, this is an easy way to trade it, okay? And you can, I say, you can really capitalize on this very, very nicely. Now, you can see here where you got this series here, okay, of uh, 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 lower highs and lower lows all the way down. But now, you can see it held this on this trend line. We put a trend line in there. And then now we're breaking this purple. This is that upper trend line. So if we can get above, then we can just rally this up. Once you start breaking these trend lines to the upside, then we can rally hard. Now, if you look at this pattern, see you got a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. This can explode up here very, very nicely. So just take a look at this here and always watch those trend lines because eventually it keeps selling, selling. But once that breaks to the upside, she rips like you just can't believe. Now, I'm going to show you two uh, XLE here on a uh, different set of charts. Okay, here's the XLE, daily and your weekly chart. Now, same thing as was on another chart, okay? I just don't have that drawn in there. But see where you had that series of lower highs and lower lows situation. Here's that inverse head and shoulders. There's your left shoulder, your head, and your right shoulder. Now we're playing out. The key to this is going to be getting above that 50-day, that 92.23. If you can get above and close above that, then your target is right there, 93.27, okay? That's what it is. Now, the beauty of these price channels is if you can get above that 93.27, then we just take the price channel and go right across. What do you got? 95.21. Then we bring this price channel right across, okay? What do we have? 96.60. Uh, uh, and then we'll bring this price channel across. What do we have? 96.92 until you work your way all the way up to 98.97, okay? See how nice that works? It's all right there because all these price channels are, it just tops and bottoms of candles. Very, very nice. So, but just watch this 50 day. If we can get above that 92.23, 93.27, that's your next target. Easy peasy. Now, we got to hold this 100 day. 91.30, very, very key. And we want to hold that eight, that uh, simple moving average, that 90.32. And then right below it, you have 90.24. Uh, okay. So everything is right here. But if you look at this 8 SMA, see how it was below the 21 day the whole time? Now look at this 8 SMA crossed over that 21, that's very, very bullish, okay? So what you need to do, as long as you hold that eight day, you can crack above that 50 day, and we can get to that 93.27. You look at your MACD, look at here, you got the, a nice cross here, so you had a green cross above, that's the buy signal, okay? But the key is, this is right at the bottom, this is oversold conditions, okay? This is not like it's at the top here, you know, when you have overbought, this is oversold. So once we break out of this, this can rip up very, very high, you be able to get easy 10 points out of this here with no problem. But just watch that 8, uh, 50 SMA here and then watch that 93.27 on the upside. Downside, just watch that 8 SMA here. You're looking at uh, uh, that uh, 90.82 and then watch that 21 day at 90.23. Now, again, if that happens to get lost, then you right, come right here to your uh, 88.40. That's your 200 day. And then we have your price channel here right below that at 97.60. Weekly here, look at that, plenty of room to run. You're only like at 51 here. Same with here, our RSI on your daily chart. This is look like it wants to curl up if it does, and we can get above all this resistant area, 21 and eight day. This is just boom, blue sky, all the way till you hit that 98, 97. Okay, I'll be back here after your pit close, and we'll go uh, take a look there at crude oil and natty gas. Thanks for watching.